Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video. And this one is breaking down the balancing update, March 2017. Uh, just came out yesterday and really the effects it's going to have on uh, clan wars specifically the cwl caliber wars um, there might be slightly different effects for uh, the war scene on a broader perspective and kind of the game in general but specifically for some of the top tier wars uh, town hall 9 town hall 10 town hall 11 mixed and stuff like that going to be looking at the specific effects it's going to have on that can't be too certain in some of these conclusions because it is, uh, it just, the update just came out. It's only about a day old. So we're going to have to wait and see a little bit. I'm going to be sure to make uh, another attack meta video in about a week or two. Once we understand uh, this update a little bit better, I'm going to talk about um, the best strategies at each town hall level in that attack meta video. I'll also make some defensive videos in addition to the attack meta to talk about how to defend those popular strategies um, at most of those town hall levels. So I'll be covering everything a little bit more specifically, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, but this video is kind of an overview of my thoughts on the the update and how it's going to affect the, uh, the top three town hall levels that we see in the CWL type matchups. Um, so that being said, we're just going to kind of go through each of the changes, going to summarize them really quickly. You guys have probably already heard them already, but I'll do it once more. And then I'll talk about uh, each town hall level and the changes um, in terms of balance that we might see. Um, so starting with the, uh, uh, the actual parts of the update, um, the defensive stuff was first uh, 12 the level 12 walls at Town Hall 11, you get 25 more of those. So something else for Town Hall 11s to work on um, if they're already maxed out, not a huge deal. Uh, we have the level nine air defense being added to Town Hall 11. First time we've seen a new air defense level in a while. So Town Hall 11s have that as well, level nine air defense. And then in terms of offense, the changes we're seeing are hog riders. Their hit points are increased levels five through seven. So that's max levels for Town Hall nine, 10 and 11, all getting an increase in the hit points. We're seeing Pekkas and Dragons both having their damage increased. Uh, so recently they got their attack speed increased in an update. Now they're getting their damage increased again. Uh, or not increased again, but they're getting their damage increased. So uh, two recent changes to buff Pekkas and Dragons. Uh, these are specifically for the uh, top half of the levels. So I think for Dragons it's level 4 plus, Pekkas level 3 plus. So it's just the upper level that we see at Town Hall 9, 10, and 11 having the, the uh, damage increased. Uh, next change is the Witch. Her spawn rate for skeletons is being increased. So she spawns those little skeletons quicker, which of course is going to be a buff for her because they'll be, uh, they'll be getting out more frequently. She won't be targeted as easily if she gets those things out to tank quicker. Uh, and finally, the last change we're seeing is the miners having a hit point increase at all town hall levels. So that would be town hall 10s and 11s getting their miners with some more hit points. Um, so those are the changes we're seeing. Now we're going to go through the uh, three town hall levels, 9, 10, and 11, and talk about how they're going to be changing a little bit in terms of balance, uh, specifically in the CWL scene. So starting at town hall 9, I'm not too thrilled about how this update's going to affect it. We're not really seeing any nerfs specifically. Um, the air defense level uh, 9 won't do anything because that's Town Hall 11. Of course, the air defense like cost, I think, and time is quicker for upgrades, but that doesn't really change anything, um, especially at the top war scene. Who cares about the cost or the, the extra day it takes to upgrade your air defense? So really, we're not seeing any huge nerfs, and I think air was in uh, you know a pretty substantial need of a nerf because we're seeing La Lune be very powerful right now at Town Hall 9. And uh, also, kind of separate from that, uh, Stone Hobo was already pretty powerful with Hogs and the Golems and everything, especially with the 30-30 heroes, but now it's even more powerful with Hog Riders having a hit point increase at level 5. So it's, it's not anything that's going to make Town Hall 9 more balanced. I think what it'll do is it'll make uh, P.E.K.K.A.s, Dragons... 
um, hog attacks, all that stuff, more of an option in addition to Laloon, which is already very powerful. So Town Hall 9 is going to be kind of pick your choice as far as what you're comfortable with, but we're going to see even higher three-star rates most likely, unless there's some kind of hidden change we're not seeing. Sometimes Supercell does do that, but um, we don't have any reason to believe there is some kind of mini nerf to Town Hall 9. Um, so if we assume there's not, Town Hall 9 is going to be less balanced and is going to have more three stars, which might be good for certain parts of the war community, but for the, the top end, it's not going to be that helpful because Town Hall 9 already was uh, fairly easy to three star in the eyes of most people. And um, a lot of people say, you know what, just upgrade to Town Hall 10. Town Hall 9 is the, is the new Town Hall 8. And my response to that is really, first of all, that only makes it less accessible, the war community, for new people because you have to upgrade so much and invest so much time or money in the game to get to Town Hall 10 where you can actually have a, a, you know, a solid chance at three stars. That takes a lot of effort. And also, just in general, people are still Town Hall 9s and it, I don't think it serves the community to have only two balanced town hall levels. If it's town hall 10 and 11, I think we want the full three town hall levels to make the war the most interesting. So it's it's best if all of those town hall levels are fun to be at and have at least some sort of balance, which town hall 9 is slipping away from. Uh, but moving on to town hall 10, which I think was um, pretty close to in a good balancing state before this update, I think the changes are going to be probably good for Town Hall 10. It's adding options like miners, P.E.K.K.A.s, dragons, and even hogs, stuff that wasn't used much before. Um, we did see certain uh, P.E.K.K.A. attacks recently, but nothing on a major scale, so it'll make those more of a viable option, and not a whole lot to change the Laloon meta. Um, not that it's too powerful, really, but I think it would be nice just to have an all-around increase to the damage done by red air bombs because Town Hall 9, of course, Laloon is too powerful. In Town Hall 10, it's kind of it's kind of borderline, maybe, um, and it should be the same uh, same viability as other strategies. So I think that would be a good change, but overall, pretty good stuff. I am a little bit concerned about the witches and the buff they're getting because uh, the bowler uh, mine or the sorry the bowler witch strategy was already emerging as a popular one at Town Hall 10. So I am concerned that Town Hall 10 and possibly Town Hall 11 were going to see the witches become too powerful, which um, seems like they're kind of a sinusoidal up and down in terms of how powerful they are. But we'll have to wait and see. Hopefully it's not anything that's going to unbalance Town Hall 10 because I think it should be in a good state for the most part. Um, and miners shouldn't be too powerful. Um, they still have that delay before they go underground, which uh, infamously made them less of a viable option, made them go away really for a few months. And now that they're back, I think the hit points won't make them completely uh, OP. It'll just make them a solid option. I trust that Supercell gave them the right values. And finally, guys, Town Hall 11 can't comment quite as much on it, but I think the nerf to air wasn't good. Air... Um, was obviously the best option at Town Hall 11 for three stars, but it wasn't, you know, OP. It really was just the only viable option. Uh, I think they should have done more for ground. Now, the Hogs did get the buff, the Witches. All the troops got a buff, really, at Town Hall 11 with Miners, P.E.K.K.A.s, Dragons, um, Hogs, but I think the nerf was unnecessary for the air defenses. And, you know, we might see some more... Uh, possible three stars with other combinations after the buff to some of these troops, but I think they shouldn't have added that air defense level really. Um, we'll have to wait and see though. It might end up being a good change, but Town Hall 11 three stars will still be difficult as they should be probably because it is the top Town Hall level and it should have the most difficulty for three stars. So hope you guys like this video. Those are just my thoughts. Uh, in general, I think the update is okay. Nothing too special and I'd like to see some other changes but we might have to wait for Supercell. And I don't want to, you know, comment too early. You know, things could work out okay. Um, I'm sure Supercell has put a lot of thought into this update. So we'll have to see the actual effects it has. And I'll be sure to cover those on the channel, especially with the attack meta video and the defensive meta videos to let you guys know what's working on both sides of the attack button. So be uh, stay tuned for that. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'll be sure to check that out. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.